Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be tackling how to break the opponent's guard. See, sometimes students will ask themselves, is Wing Chun a defensive system or an offensive system? Or is it both? See, one of our key Wing Chun principles says we defend and attack simultaneously. And when you're in a situation where you need to fight, where you need to defend yourself, it's very wise for you not to wait, especially if you're in close proximity. You need to learn to strike first and attack. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you three effective ways to break the opponent's guard. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So here I upload videos regarding Wing Chun, tutorials, how-to, demonstrations, and I also upload my Wing Chun by Design podcast. So if you're new to the channel, you may wanna consider subscribing so that way you can keep up to date with everything that I'm uploading on a weekly basis. So guys, let us not waste time, let's get started. Okay guys, let's say you're in a situation where you have someone in front of you and you need to fight. You need to defend yourself. You already thought of different strategies of you avoiding the situation, getting away or running away. But let's say for today's scenario, those options are not possible. Your back is against the wall, you need to fight. Okay, depends on how far the opponent is, is what strategy you should use. Also, is the guy in front of you standing with a really high guard, a low guard, or his arms are just all over the place and in front of you? So those elements are super important for you to see what options you have when breaking the guard, when attacking. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you three strategies to deal with these three different options, okay? And it's very important that when you're using these techniques, is to think outside the box. Most people think always of head hunting, just attacking the face. But really, you should use the whole opponent's body as a possible target for you to strike. And in self-defense, you need to strike fast and hard, okay? You don't wanna play around with any possible situation because it might put you at risk. So today, I'm gonna to keep it short and sweet and effective. Okay, so let's start with option one. Okay guys, so I've got Sam, my longtime student, helping me out with today's video. Now for technique number one, we're dealing against someone standing in front of us with a guard already set up. However, the leading hand is a little bit low. All right, so if we have someone standing like this in front of us, we can take advantage of that position. So let's say Sam already is on his guard and we need to act. So Wing Chun principle says we defend and attack simultaneously. If our opponent already has a guard fairly low, we can definitely go to the face and use the Park style just to redirect and then go with our straight punch. Now, having said that, if you're gonna go, you need to fully commit. You can't go kind of just like halfway because if the opponent knows what he's doing and he's got that guarding hand there and you don't fully commit, that hand will immediately stop your punch. So when you do your park so you need to fully commit. Something like, boom, going all the way in. Then, when you do that, I would recommend follow up immediately. So once you saw the opportunity, you have to seize it, you have to go, you have to go in. So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing the parked up, follow up, and then I'm finishing with a punch to the solar plexus, okay? Something like this, so you go one, and then you just go forward with that punch to the solar plexus. I'll do it again, one, and then punch to the solar plexus. The same combo from this other angle. Perfect. Technique number two. This time we're dealing with someone holding a high guard. So they're up here, okay? Now if I have Sam on that same position up high, so from here I can go one and then drop and then follow up with a punch to the face. So here you go one, drop, and then control and follow up. Here I can go one. Do you see that? 
He's got the high guard. I'm going under and then controlling. High sweep. Let's show from a different angle. So once again, he's up high. I go one, two, control, and then sweep. One, control, up, and then sweep. So without pause, it's one, here. Okay, now for technique number three, this time our opponent is holding kind of like a wide guard. So what I would do in this scenario, I would actually redirect his attention. Because his arms are quite wide and long, right, I wouldn't necessarily try to reach the face or try to reach his side because now his hand is pretty um, close to me. So if I go low, he can drop that hand and kind of cover or cover right there. So what I would do is something like this, where I would just go towards the leg, all right, to just drop his, his attention and then follow up. So once I've done that, then it's easy. Then I would practically just follow up with another kick at the end. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you like it. Make sure you work on these techniques so that way they become reflexive in your movements. Check your balance, check the distance, the speed, and work on it so that way you become effective when applying these techniques. If you haven't already, check some of my other videos. There are plenty of how-to tutorials and Wing Chun demonstrations. And if you haven't already, check out my online academy. It's umauniversity.com.au. I'll make sure to post the link down below so that way you can check out my free introductory applied Wing Chun course and you can learn from those videos as well. And also, if you haven't, check out my Wing Chun by Design podcast. I upload on a weekly basis here on YouTube and also on iTunes and Spotify. There are plenty of good tips and strategies that you can also learn from there as well. And having said that, guys, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.